Hello again. My name is Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website at sfhelp.org. I'm a professional therapist. I've been studying communication dynamics among people and within people for over 40 years. I want to pass on to you in this brief video and related videos some tips about how to improve the effectiveness of your communication. Uh, lesson two in the Break the Cycle website is all about effective communication. It presents seven learnable skills. The first of these is the skill of awareness. One of the things that I've found most people are unaware of is, in important situations and relationships, is something that can be called a be spontaneous paradox. As you probably know, a paradox is a statement that defeats itself. Um, be spontaneous is impossible. You can't comply with that except to obey the other person, which is not being spontaneous. So if you insist that someone be spontaneous, you make it impossible for them to do so. That is a be spontaneous paradox. There is a whole class of requests and demands that I've seen my therapy couples use with each other and with their kids, and they are unaware that they are causing be spontaneous paradoxes. For example, one person says to another, you must respect me. That makes it impossible for the other person to respect them spontaneously. If they do say, oh, okay, I respect you, then the first person says, no, ah, you're just doing that because I asked it of you, I demanded it. It defeats itself. There are similar things like, you should trust me. Trust can only be given spontaneously. You cannot demand it, you can't expect it, you can't request it. So being respectful, trusting, being honest. Um, you should want to be with me. You should enjoy me. You should be my friend. Every one of those is a type of be spontaneous paradox. A much better, more effective alternative is to say, I wish you felt more friendly towards me. Or I wish um, we could find a way where you would respect me more. Or tell me what I need to do in order for you to raise your trust in me. Those are far different than you have to trust me. So my point here is in this tip, <clears throat> cultivate the amazing skill of awareness that's going on inside of you and with your partner and between you. Use awareness to make sure as you assert something, a need or observation or a limit or something, as you assert something with another person, an adult or a child, avoid be spontaneous paradoxes. Do you think you've ever used those before? Have anyone ever used those with you recently? How did it feel? Stay tuned.